royal couple were in Brixton, South London yesterday to visit radio station. A local DJ took the opportunity to hand Prince Harry his business card. He said he wants to play at the royal wedding and already has said list planned. Harry laughed at the stunt and tucked the business card into his pocket. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have yet to announce whether they've got a DJ or a band booked to play at their wedding reception. But for one London artist, even the slimmest chance of getting the massive gig was too good to opportunity to pass up. Giovanni Letford briefly met the Prince and his fiancée when they visited Represent Radio Station in Brixton, South London yesterday. And the 28-year-old slipped the engaged royal a card with his contact details on it, telling him, I'll DJ at your wedding. He said he doubts whether the stunt will come to anything but it was worth a punt. Speaking afterwards, Mr. Letford told Mail Online, Prince Harry took the card and said OK, and put it in his pocket. He added, Prince Harry if you're reading this, getting me to DJ at your wedding. It will be the second best decision you've ever made in your life, after asking Meghan to marry you. Mr. Letford said he already has some songs in mind for a wedding reception playlist and would kick off the party with This Is How We Do It by Montel Jordan. He also told BBC Newsbeat he would also play some songs from the west coast of the US, in a nod to Meghan, who was born in Los Angeles. The royal couple, who are due to marry on May 19 at Windsor Castle, went to the heart of London's Caribbean community for their first official visit in the capital yesterday. Ms Markle yesterday chatted, joked and hugged young presenters from a youth radio station the couple visited to learn more about the work of the not-for-profit broadcaster that trains the presenters, producers and station managers of tomorrow. Harry exchanged an extravagant fist bump with one of the DJs, after a little coaching in how to perform the greeting. Crowds had gathered outside the studios of Represent FM and they cheered and screamed when they were acknowledged by the couple who held hands when they first arrived, and later waited in freezing conditions after the 45-minute visit overran by almost half an hour. Shane Carey, 46, founder and chief executive officer of Represent, who hosted the couple, said, since the visit was announced there's been massive excitement in the station, much more than I could have expected. He added, we're having the spotlight shown on us from all the world's media pretty much, we've never had this attention.